This morning, Ukrainian and Russian officials will meet in Belarus for talks as the Russian invasion into Ukraine enters its fifth straight day. The sudden negotiations come as President Putin is under increasing economic pressure to de-escalate the entire situation. Washington, D.C. correspondent Raquel Martin has more. Good morning. Ukrainian officials certainly are not getting their hopes up that Russian President Vladimir Putin will have some sort of change of heart following this meeting. But in the meantime, there is growing pressure from not only Ukraine officials, but also lawmakers here in Washington for the U.S. to impose even harsher sanctions. As Russian President Vladimir Putin continues to unleash his military on Ukraine, Ukrainian officials are calling for more weapons and harsher sanctions from the West. We need more. On ABC's This Week, the Ukrainian ambassador to the U.S. said there must be more economic pressure on Putin. I feel that it's not okay in the 21st century to attack another country. Over the weekend, President Biden approved a $350 million military aid package to Ukraine, and the U.S. and several EU nations announced new crippling sanctions against the Russian central bank. But it's time for the president and some of our European partners to quit pussyfooting around. Arkansas Republican Senator Tom Cotton says the new penalties don't go far enough. Well, Vladimir Putin controls 100 percent of the banks in Russia. He can use the other 20 percent to continue to finance his war machine. Monday, lawmakers are racing back to Washington in hopes of passing a more aggressive sanctions package to help. It's critical. On Fox News Sunday, Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar said lawmakers must put politics aside to help Ukraine. This has got to be bipartisan. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says more sanctions, including sanctions against Russia's energy sector, remain on the table. To maximize the impact and the consequences on President Putin will minimize Minimizing the impact on the American people. Today, President Biden will hold another call with U.S. allies to discuss a path forward in the midst of this crisis. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you.